Okay, hello, update time. So obviously I've made it to Japan and um, little hiccup, uh, I thought that I had pocket Wi-Fi, which is portable Wi-Fi with my Airbnb, but um, I don't, which is okay. Um, I kind of know Tokyo enough that I'm not like scared to just wander and like know where I am, which is nice. Um, but also just the regular Wi-Fi didn't work. So we're gonna hopefully figure that out tonight. But um, I just quickly walked over to the Shibuya area and I went to this Kith Treats. I literally just looked up ice cream on Google Maps and this is what came up and it is like so delicious. They just take soft serve or not even soft serve. They just take ice cream and like blend it with cereals of your choice. So I have a Cocoa Puff. I have Cocoa Puff um, cereal ice cream and it's really good. So I'm just gonna walk around Shibuya cool down because it's super duper hot. It's like 17 degrees Celsius here. Um, and I came from a place where it was one degree Celsius. So it's a bit of a change. So I'm gonna just walk around, eat my ice cream and uh, be happy. I really don't have any plans for tonight, but once once the, once the tomorrow begins, um, I got a lot to do. So I will enjoy the peace. Hi guys, greetings from the Nakameguro area. It is so windy, so I'm gonna have to talk really, really fast. So this area is really well known um, during Sakura season because all of these trees that line this river um, are cherry blossom trees and it's amazing and I've never seen it, but I've seen it in pictures. So, so I just went to Onibus Coffee um, for coffee and I sat there for quite a while because it was just like so cold and windy outside and it was so wonderful and warm inside. So I sat there for a while and then these Korean girls came up to me and they were like, can you please move? We want to take our Instagram pictures. And like, they didn't even let me move all my stuff. I just stood there holding my jacket for like literally five minutes while they like the two of them like switched and then they had to wait for a train. Oh my God, it was wild. Anyway, um, I know I took pictures too, but I was just like, I'd never ask somebody to move, but whatever. Um, it was kind of a funny moment. Like I was, 
it's fine. Um, but now we're gonna walk around. I will uh, see you guys soon. Sorry if I'm bouncing, I'm trying to walk fast. We're on our way to the Mori Art Museum and the viewing deck. I know it's a little touristy, but I just really love that view. It's just something that I really like to do. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna go look at Tokyo, but I'm running really late and all the buses are like not working in my favor. And I wanna get there by sunset. So fingers crossed, apologies for the blah, 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 blah. And um, see you there, bye. So she like put me in this with no explanation at all. I thought I was going to like look at the, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but all of a sudden I'm going, I'm climbing 50 floors in an elevator by myself. So cool, <laughs> cool.
sorry for not, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> sorry for not being stable. Sorry for not um, updating so much today. I kind of was listening to an audiobook and like just wandering and it felt really nice. The Meguro, Naka Meguro area um, is very cool. I spent a lot of time in that cafe just like drawing and writing and stuff like that. Um, it's actually quite nice not having any Wi-Fi. Like it's a little bit frustrating because I've grown so, so used to it. Um, but not having it, it kind of challenged me to like remember my problem solving skills. I'm honestly gonna go to bed a little bit early. I was kind of out other than that like 20 minute break back um, back in the apartment. Um, I've been out for 12 hours <laughs> and so I would like to just kind of lay down. I haven't been sleeping very well recently. I don't know why, noisy neighbors first of all for, for I know why last night, but anyway. Um, so yeah, we've got a really busy day tomorrow. I'm going back to some places that I really love and I haven't been to in a long time, so that'll be fun. And then um, hopefully I can have a meetup on Sunday. That is in the plan, but now I have to figure out how on earth to get back to my apartment. And it's through this sketchy building. That's the answer. At least the scary mannequin isn't here anymore. At least I hope it isn't. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go, but uh, thank you for a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, woke up at 2 a.m. to a lovely little earthquake. I uh, haven't felt one of those in a long time. Uh, we get them in California all the time, so it wasn't like my first one, but never like them, never like them. So anyway, woke up bright and early and we're going to the Gotokuji temple, which is actually like the birthplace of the Maneki Neko cat, the lucky cat. So we're gonna go there and I'm just walking around this very quiet neighborhood. So I'm gonna stop vlogging, but I'll see you there. And just like last time, this entire neighborhood smells like a roasted sweet potato. And last time I was here, I found a man who was selling it and it like made my day. I'm quite hungry. So if that happens, that would be lovely. If it doesn't happen, what can you do? Um, but yeah, if you ever come here, prepare for like a wonderful aroma. If you come here in February, I guess. I don't know about other times of the year, but roasted sweet potato all over the place. So good. <laughs> super windy so it's a little difficult to vlog but um what's really amazing is that the last time I was here was in 2016 also in February and I had no idea that plum blossoms came out this time of year and these trees in the back of Gotokuji were the first ones I ever saw and they're still here and they're still all in bloom so I'm gonna go say hello to them um but yeah that was I just I really have a soft spot in my heart for this place Also, just a lesson if you are solo traveling, um, if you ever see a group that is struggling to take photos or another solo travel str str blah blah, another solo traveler struggling to take photos, um, ask them if they need a hand because I just asked these three girls who were taking pictures, like one of them was always out of picture, um, I just asked them if they wanted one of all three and they were like, oh yeah, and they were super nice, they were from Vietnam, so I took a bunch for them and then they were like, of course, like do you, do you want us to take some? And it was just like the cutest interaction they were really sweet um so it's little moments like that like when you're solo traveling it can get quite quite lonely i think and just having like little blips of human interaction is very helpful and that's a really easy way to do it um so yeah just a little i love this place something always good happens here you know so yeah go to kuji definitely add it to your tokyo list <laughs> him. Mm -hmm. 
I got the Halloween sweet flavor because um, it was the only one I could read because everything else was in kanji. <laughs> I'm very happy that this place is open. It's definitely the same place I went to last time. So anyway, let's um, continue to go to the subway station. <laughs> Shirohige's cream puff factory and um, I can never get a reservation. I don't even try. Um, you can sit upstairs, but I think you have to reserve. I don't even, I honestly don't even know how, um, but I just get it to go. And I got the original custard cream, but they have strawberry and chocolate and banana. And sometimes they have a special flavor, um, but it's just like this heavy duty cream puff. The woman who works there is so sweet. It just like smells wonderful in there. They bake them in house. It's just like really a wonderful experience to go in there. It's just like obviously warms my heart. Also, I don't know if they're sitting in there. I thought they would come out maybe, but um, someone came in right after me and they they watched this channel. So thank you so much for saying hi. I'm sorry that I like. Oh, is this on? Bye. <laughs> You'll see this on my channel. <laughs> Have a good rest of your stay. Bye. <laughs> How funny the world is so small. Oh. I hate that I have to do this. Oh my god, we have to eat him. Say goodbye to your little friend. Hmm? There he goes. I'm so sorry to the boy who went by and watched me just murder this cream puff. I'm so sorry. We are on our way, well, we're technically in Shimo Kitazawa, um, and I'm gonna do a whole separate kind of shopping vlog. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of show you the highlights of this area, um, but there will be another vlog dedicated to all the damage I do here. So, look forward to that. Let's go. going home for a second to just charge my phone, put some stuff down, and then we'll head back out. But uh, yeah, gotta take a breather. <laughs> Okay, that was a wildly strange ramen experience. So that was vegan ramen and it tasted fine, good, okay. Um, but it smelled horrible. So like every time I would put it up to my mouth to eat it, I got a horrific smell. It was just so strange. But so to get that smell out of my head, get that taste out of my mouth, um, we're gonna go get hopefully some sesame ice cream because that is the cure for all. So onward. 
One last little stop before bedtime. day in Tokyo and I was planning on going to another neighborhood and exploring but to be quite honest I'm so tired like my legs literally hurt from walking so much um, the last two days and I haven't really been sleeping well so I'm just gonna kind of have a very chill day in this neighborhood which is like the Harajuku Shibuya area I know it's very touristy but it's where I'm staying and there are things I want to see here so eh. and this isn't my first time in Tokyo this is like my third or fourth so um, I'm just gonna kind of enjoy Tokyo has like a regular day. Let's start it off. Last day in Tokyo and then I have my meet up at four. So that'll be really exciting and I want to be kind of like chill for that. So um, yeah, let's do this thing. <laughs> After a much needed nap, I am out. I'm going to the meetup. Um, I asked for suggestions of cafes and the most popular one was called La Test, La Taste. So we picked that place, but then um, we realized that some minor celebrity, like a person who was on a Netflix show, um, works there, so it might be crowded. So hopefully not, we'll see. Ooh, there's an Earth Cafe here. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's crowded. Oh no. Okay, well, stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Ooh, very, very awkward. Where are you? success thank you guys all so much for coming like literally I'm just so happy it worked out so well it was a little messy in the beginning because we had to move to a different cafe and then we had to like be very strategic with our seating so um, yeah just thank you everyone who came it was so nice to talk to everybody I'm sorry if we didn't get to talk too much but I yeah I, I everyone was just so interesting and so fun and I think what drives me really crazy about meetups like this is that every person that i've met at a meetup is like so interesting and and unique and just like vibrant and i can't understand how you guys can watch my channel like i i understand that i'm not necessarily a boring person but like you guys just seem so cool as as lame as that sounds um so i'm just like eternally grateful i'm always like just completely humbled and floored whenever you guys come to one of these things um so yeah thank you so much and then a couple of the girls 
Um, we went out for sushi afterwards. It was a really great way to kind of end my trip here because I honestly, like I told them, I was probably just gonna go to like a convenience store and like go to sleep early. Um, so that was just a really, really nice way. It felt like I caught up with a bunch of old friends um, and just got coffee. And so, yeah, it was just absolutely wonderful. Thank you so, so much if you came. If you couldn't come, I'll come back again, I promise. Um, yeah, I'm just tickled. I'm absolutely tickled. I'm, I'm just like really wonderfully happy. And yeah, I will end it here, but thank you so much. Um, I, I have a few early morning hours until I have to go to the airport. But yeah, just like an excellent way to end the trip. And um, yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, before I start crying, <laughs> good night. Morning Tokyo from the Meiji Shrine. I really love this place. I, I like to come in the morning. I definitely suggest coming very early because it does get crowded. The trees are indescribable. They're so large and so beautiful. I have no idea what kind they are, but they're just they're really lovely. So um, I'm stopping here. I have enough time to um, walk around here and then probably just grab a coffee, go to a bakery. Um, I really have wanted to go to for like all the times I've come to Tokyo um, and then honestly head to the airport. So um, let's hurry up, say goodbye to Tokyo. It treated me very well. Um, so yeah, let's go. Place. they had signs up that were like very vaguely saying don't take photos um they didn't they like didn't tell me not to but I took very few but just know that it's like a very cute local little shop but it was so charming and the music was so good I literally just had Shazam on the whole time I'm starving so we're gonna get some bread and then we're gonna head back to the uh, Airbnb a lot of room for storage if you just got one It's a disease to stay on the press middle. It's time. I dropped one. Oh no. Oh my god. I thought it was just good because of the chocolate, but it's actually like the bread is really good. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is amazing. This place is open every day, open at seven. There are like three seats. I'm so good. <laughs> 